Daryl's sister Alexis was the most spoiled girl in all of Roblox. She always got whatever she wanted, and if she didn't, she would flip everyone's world upside down. Daryl tried his best to help his sister, but his plan backfired, and his sister completely ruined his life. Just wait and see what happens when Daryl finds out the truth about his spoiled sister. So man, what do you think? I got it for my birthday. Dude, this is so sick. Oh my gosh, look at the rims. Like how fast does it go? Zero to 16, like what, two seconds? I don't know, man, you know me. I like to play it safe. I don't really drive crazy like that, but I bet it can. Dude, you're so lucky. Did your parents get this for you? I wish, but I bought it for myself. Well, happy birthday to you then. <laughs> Where'd you get this piece of uh, trash? The junkyard? What do you want now, Alexis? Hmm, I want the car keys. No, I'm not gonna give you my keys. You don't even have a license. Well, I'm your little sister and I get whatever I want. So give me the keys. No, and I mean it, Alexis. You're not driving my car. Uh, whatever, I have to do everything myself around here. Alexis, stop right now. Uh. Dude, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head home before your dad finds out. Alexis, you're gonna be in so much trouble. You know how many hours I work for this? Well, it was a dumb car anyways. It's not like you deserved it. And it's not like I'm gonna get into trouble either. What is happening? What's going on? Are you two okay? Dad, look, look what Alexis did. She took my car and she crashed it. No, that's all a lie. I, I didn't mean to. Daryl, you just bought this car. Are you seriously that irresponsible? What have I taught you? Nothing? No, Dad, I didn't even give her the keys. She stole them from me. She just took off and crashed it, and I think she actually did it on purpose. I would never do that on purpose. Dad, I don't know why he's yelling at me. I don't even have a license. I'm not even supposed to drive. That's right, you're not supposed to drive, and your brother should have known better. But Dad... Shut up and go to your room and give me the car keys. I'm gonna clean up your mess. Alexis, my sweet little daughter. Oh, uh, uh, Daryl, Daryl, you too. Oh, yeah, Dad? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I'm leaving for my work trip. I've got to head into the city and do some work on the campaign. Oh, but Dad, do you have to go? And do I have to watch Alexis? Yes, Alexis, I'm very sorry. And yes, Daryl, you do have to watch Alexis. You have to take care of your little sister, got it? Uh, yeah, I got it, Dad. Don't worry. All right, now here's a big, huge stack of cash, Alexis. You can do whatever you want with it. You'll need to order food for the next couple days. And I left a little extra in there so you can treat yourself to something nice. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'll be very responsible with it. But, Dad, what about me? I'm the older brother. Shouldn't I be in charge of the money? Well, you couldn't be in charge of a simple thing like a vehicle! So no. Anyways, I'm going to get in my vehicle. I got to go. Goodbye, Alexis, my sweet angel. And bye, Daryl. Bye, Dad. <laughs> oh, my God. This is actually a lot of money. Alexis, just hand me 20 so I can order some lunch. Uh, Daryl, shut up. It's my money. Dad gave it to me so I can do whatever I want with it. Dad left that money for both of us. Well, if he gave it to the both of us, why is it in my hands? It's not like he gave you any money. Whatever, I've had enough of this, all right? I'm just gonna go in my room and play video games. Leave me alone. Aw, boo, poor Daryl. Hey, Daryl, I need you to take me to the store right now. Seriously, Alexis, for what? Well, I need to go to the store to buy some things, and you're going to take me now. Alexis, I already cleaned your room, I did your laundry, and I did the dishes just so you don't have to. Now I have to take you to the store? What else do you need? Wow, do you want a medal or something? It's not like cleaning is that big of a deal, Daryl. God, stop whining. Well, I'm only doing it anyway so you don't call Dad and tell on me. Well, if you don't take me to the store, I will call Dad. I'm not taking you until you tell me what we're even going for. Fine, if you have to know, I need to buy 20 new iPhones. 20 iPhones for what? How much money did dad leave you with? That's none of your concern. Now get in the car and take me to the store. You know what? No, I'm not. That's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. Fine, then you know what? I'm going to tell dad that you're being mean to me and won't let me do anything. 
You're impossible, Alexis. You know what? Fine. Go ahead. Call dad. I'm going to go hang out with Connor. See if I care. Daryl cannot get away with saying no to me. He's going to regret it, and I'll be sure of it. Oh, man, this party's totally sick, isn't it? Yeah, man, thanks for bringing me here. It's really helping me clear my mind with all this stuff going on at home. Dude, I totally don't blame you. Your sister is the most spoiled girl I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I know. She acts like she owns the place. She has my dad wrapped around her finger, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, dude, totally. But now we're at a party, so legit, don't talk about it anymore. Just think about anything else. Anything else or anyone else? Look, man, it's Heather. You know I've had a crush on her for, like, ever now, man. Oh, yeah. Heather's, like, totally cool. And, like, really pretty, too. You should go talk to her, man. Uh, I don't know. That's not my thing. Come on, dude. Do it. Do it. Go talk to Heather. Uh, okay, 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 fine. Just stop that chant, please. Everyone's gonna hear you. <laughs> All right. Come on, dude. You got this. Uh, hi. Um, Heather, it's, uh, it's me, Daryl. Oh, hi, Daryl. What's up? Uh, yeah, not much. Uh, but, uh, cool party, huh? Look at all this stuff going on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just pretty cool. I don't think it's, like, that cool. Like, yeah. Daryl! Oh, no, Alexis, what's going on? You need to come home right now and make me cupcakes. Alexis, not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, wait. Is this Heather? The one that you have a crush on? Uh, no, no. Uh, she, she's mishearing things, Heather. Alexis, knock it off. Ha, Heather, did you know that he still wets the bed and he still sleeps with a binky? You, you probably don't want to be his girlfriend. He's so weird. Oh my god, Daryl, is that true? No, no, none of it's true. You know what, Alexis? I'm done with this. I'm out of here. You ruin everything for me. I can't believe this. Alexis takes any little thing I look forward to in life and she completely ruins it. I can never just have anything nice. <laughs> oh, look at Daryl crying. Do you want your binky? Wah, 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 wah. Alexis, enough. You embarrass me in front of everyone, including Heather. Do you not see what your actions do to other people? No. And you know what? I saved you a bullet anyways. Heather is way too pretty for you. Alexis, that hurts. Why do you want to hurt me? What have I ever done to you? Uh, can we stop talking about this? Look, I came to get you for an actual real reason. Can you go make me cupcakes? No, never. Not after tonight. <laughs> no? So you're not going to make me cupcakes? No, I'm not making you cupcakes after what you've done. I want you in that kitchen and making me cupcakes or I'm going to destroy the house and tear it to the ground! Really? You're going to destroy the house? Me and you both know that you wouldn't even do that. Oh, yeah? Really? Is that a challenge? Do you want to see what I could do? Because you haven't seen anything yet. What I want you to do is to leave me alone. Stop bothering me. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of Alexis. <laughs> She treats me like trash. And it's to the point where I'm actually starting to feel like it. Oh, it's true. Look, Daryl's crying like a little baby. <laughs> Finn, what are you doing here? Dude, I was at the party and I saw everything. Chad put it on Insta Live and like, he's a big influencer. So like millions of people saw it. They keep commenting how funny it is. <laughs> Look at that poor guy. Finn, I already have enough going on, okay? Just knock it off. I'm not gonna knock it off, but I am gonna knock you down. Oh, hey! Finn, what are you doing? Oh, Heather. I just saw you push Daryl down to the ground. What is wrong with you? Well, Daryl was being like super annoying and like, I just wanted to like, you know, teach him a lesson. And also I figured he'd cry and it makes me laugh when he cries. Well, the only annoying person here right now is you, Finn. What? what? Heather? Finn, you know what? Just go home. 
Or guess what? I'll stop tutoring you in English. But you know I have to pass that to stay on the lacrosse team. Well, if you know any better, Finn, then go home. Ugh, fine. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Yeah, no, no. Well, yeah, of course. I'm totally fine. I had everything under control. Really? Daryl, you just got pushed to the ground, and it kind of looks like you were crying. Okay, fine. But you know what happened to me tonight. I got completely embarrassed. Most of the things my sister said about me aren't even true. Yeah, exactly. They aren't true. I never believed it personally, because it seems like a little sister thing to do. Wait, really? You didn't believe it? Like, at all? No, of course not. It all sounded like lies anyways. Like, who actually still wets their bed at this age? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I guess I was just really embarrassed. Yeah, you totally were. <laughs> it was kind of cute. But uh, look, I'll see you at school later, all right? Yeah, I'll see you at school on Monday. Bye, Daryl. Bye, Heather. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did she just say I was cute? Now, did she say I was cute or did she say I looked cute? Oh my God, everything is gone. What happened to my house? <laughs> oh, Daryl, <laughs> look at your face. Oh, it's great. Alexis, did you do this? I told you that I would do this and you didn't believe me. You're crazy. Oh, wait, hang on, I have a call. Oh, hi, dad. Alexis, sweetheart, darling, my perfect little angel. Oh, it is great to hear your voice. How are you? Ray, how are you, Dad? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm actually going to be heading home soon. The campaign is off to a great start. Your father's going to be mayor one day, I tell you. Oh, yay. Dad, I'm so happy for you. Oh, please come home quicker. I want you to take me shopping. Oh, yes, darling, of course. We have to celebrate. I'll buy you anything you want. Yay. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. Dad's coming back soon. <laughs> Oh no, what am I gonna do? Hi, welcome to Happy Burger, where we're the happiest people on earth. What do you want? A large number five, extra fries, strawberry milkshake? Hurry up, what do you want? I'm not here to order anything, sir. I'm actually seeing if I can probably find a new job. Well, we're not hiring, Bojo. Well, you have a hiring sign out front, and I really need the job. Oh, we do? <sighs> That's right. Glad to take down the sign, idiot. Yeah, I guess we are hiring. Um, What do you even need this job for? Do you have any idea what this job is? Yeah, it's a burger place, and it's a place where I can hopefully get some more money. Uh, My house was completely destroyed, and I need any cent I can get. Why do I feel like I've heard this before? You know what, idiot? Join the club, okay? My houses have been destroyed countless times. Countless times. That's what you get for being in this universe. <sighs> okay, oh goodness. Thank goodness I'm not late. <sighs> Look, you cannot hire this man. What? What's going on? What's happening here? Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing, sir. Uh, just don't, don't listen to her at all. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Just let's continue with our interview. Don't try to cover this up. Look, sir, he is an awful, awful employee. He works for me, but he is absolutely awful. I do not want you to carry the burden of him. There's no way I work for her. Look at her. She's younger than me. I'm an entrepreneur. Wow, impressive. And I knew there was something fishy about you from the start. Right when you wouldn't order the number five. Uh, I mean, if you give me the job, I'll take the number five. Just please, I need the job. No, shut up. You're awful and disgusting. You shouldn't even be in this restaurant. You're going to make the customers sick. Whatever then. Uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Yeah, run away, loser. Bye. Get out of my store. Bye. <laughs> the look on his face was priceless. So sad and depressed. I know. Isn't it hilarious? You know what, kid? You're actually kind of awesome. I like your attitude. Okay, uh, the ice cream machine, we usually tell people it's broken, but it's really not. You want some ice cream? <gasps> oh my god, yes, here's $20. Oh my gosh, I love money. <laughs> but make it 25 Oh, Dad, hi, welcome home. How did your trip go? <laughs> Alexis, what happened to the house? Our home is completely destroyed. Well, you can ask Daryl. It was all his fault. 
Dad, it's it's not what you think, okay? Look, I know it's gonna be hard to believe, but you have to believe me, okay? Alexis did all of it, okay? She's behind all of this. When I was gone, she 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 tore the entire place down. It was all her. Daryl, do you think I I know, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but but you have to believe me. Please just believe me. You want me to believe that your little sister is capable of destroying our entire house? You seriously kick me for a fool. No, no, Dad, it's the truth. It's the, it's the truth, I promise. Dad, don't listen to him. You know how much he lies. I don't even know how to microwave a toaster strudel. How could I do this? And now you made your sister cry. Does that feel good, Daryl? Destroying your family and making them cry? Daryl wanted me to cover it up because he had a party in there and that's what happened. He did what? He had a party? No, no, none of this is true. Dad, I would never do that. I cannot believe I raised such a disappointment. Well, darling, it took a lot of work over the past couple days, but we finally did it. We have a new home. What do you think? I love it. It's so nice and pretty. And do I really get my own room with my own bathroom and walk-in closet? Well, uh, the walk-in closet's not there yet, but I'll have a contractor come out on Monday and get one put in for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. But, um, I wanted to talk to you about Daryl. I don't really feel safe with him living with us. After what happened with our old house and... Him just being overall disrespectful and rude to you. I just don't think that he should be living with us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I totally see your point. Guys, what what are you saying? Are you just going to kick me out on the streets? Well, your sister gets what she wants. And if she wants you kicked out of the house and living on the streets, so be it. Yes, that is what I want. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, Daryl. You can't live with us anymore. Seriously? You're my dad. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You're old enough. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Bye, Daryl. Dad, you need to stop listening to Alexis, okay? She's spoiled. She's a complete liar. And look at her. She's laughing at me. She's maniacal. Uh, yeah, great. Listen, sir, you cannot be on our property. If you don't leave in the next five seconds, I'm calling the police. You, you'd call the police on your own son? Well, I'm going to start counting to five. One, two. Fine. If you don't want me here, then, then I'll go. Yeah, okay, great. Go. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go inside and find out where your new walk-in closet's gonna go. Yay! <laughs> I can't believe this. What just happened? <laughs> now I'm homeless and, and I have nowhere to go. But you know what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna get my own place. I'm gonna be better than they ever could be. Oh, what a long day. Work's been tough lately, but hey, at least I'm thankful that I finally found a good paying job. And now look, I mean, I'm living on my own and this place is actually really nice too. I got really lucky getting it. I just wish things were different with family. I haven't even talked to them in, what is it, a year now? So hey, maybe my life is just better off without them and it's not like they control the city. I can finally just do what I want. I'm gonna stop thinking about this. Uh, I'm gonna go watch some TV. Roblox. I am Chet Flenderson bringing you breaking news. We officially have a brand new mayor in the city. Mayor Edward Higgins. Mayor what? Dad? He finally did it, just like he always wanted. That's right. Mayor Higgins is going to be great for this city. His campaign was incredible. But now on to more breaking news. We have a brand new it girl in town, and it is actually the mayor's daughter, Alexis. She's basically a celebrity at this point, and now she's officially called the world's richest first daughter in history. Wow, that's impressive. Oh no, this isn't good. Well, that was a real busy day of work, but all that work pays off. Look at this sweet car. Oh man, I love this thing so much. I've been working so hard to get it. I can't believe it's finally mine. Oh, hello, random citizen. Oh, I love your car. Can I have your keys? Uh, what? Because I want your car. Please give me the keys now. <laughs> but this car's mine. Alexis, you can't just do that. Well, I'm the mayor's daughter. I can do anything. So give me the keys and the car. And if you don't, then I'll throw you in jail. <laughs> what? You can't just do that just because I won't give you my car. Do you really want to test it out? Give me the car keys. Well, well, fine. But please be careful. She's brand new. Ugh, don't tell me what to do. 
Now get out of my way, you gross citizen. Ugh. Oh yeah, also, I think I should just warn you, I don't have a license. <laughs> Blue, I've got total deja vu right now. Connor, I just saw everything. What just happened? Dude, it was your sister. I can't believe this. Wow, well, here it is, City Hall. I can't believe Dad actually did it. But that's besides the point. I need to talk to them and get everything figured out. Alexis just stole Connor's car, and that's not okay. She is out of control, and she needs to be stopped. Uh, hey, hey, hey Dad. Well, hello, citizen. Hi, hey, welcome to City Hall. Yes, I know, it's okay. It seems as though I'm a father figure to everybody in this city. Dad, no, it's me. It's your son, Daryl. Dar- what? Who? Oh, Daryl, Daryl. Wow, hi, yeah, uh, nice to see you. What can I do for you? Look, Alexis, she's out of control. She's just going around on the streets acting like she owns the place. Well, truth be told, Daryl, she kind of does. She's the mayor's daughter. <laughs> well, Dad, she needs to be stopped. She can't just treat all the city citizens like they're a bunch of pawns on her chessboard. What are you even talking about? What is chess? Listen, I'm a very, very busy man. I'm a mayor now, so if there's anything else... Dad, do you even miss me? Like, I know we haven't talked in almost a year, and I've missed you guys like crazy. Like, I got a job, and I and I got an apartment, and, and I did all this just, just to make you proud. Well, I'm glad you found a place to live after you completely destroyed our family home with your dumb party. Dad, that wasn't me. Listen, the topic is still very sensitive, and I have no time to talk about it with you. So if you would not mind, I need to go do mayor things now, because I'm the mayor. Nice to see you, Daryl. Crawl back to dad. Hi, Alexis. I see you haven't changed. Actually, I have, but for the better. <laughs> you know, everyone in the city adores me. Oh, it's obvious you haven't because you're still lying. <laughs> oh, funny. But you know, I overheard you have a new apartment. Congratulations. But you know, uh, that's mine now. Uh, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is, because I asked for it, and I'm the mayor's daughter, so you're gonna give it to me if I want it. I'm not like every other person here, okay? I'm not gonna aid to what you ask for. I know who you really are, and you're crazy, Alexis. I'm not gonna give you what you want. Well, Daryl, if you wanna be so selfish, then you can leave. Guards! Fine, then. I'm out of here. Glad to see you're still as spoiled as ever. I can't believe my sister basically runs the city. On second thought, I, I actually can believe that. But this is so outrageous, it just doesn't feel real. My life feels like it's just falling apart in every aspect. But hey, I just need to keep my mind busy, go back to work, and maybe I can make enough money just to get out of this city. Hey boss, I'm in for my shift. Yeah, you're here, which makes everything pretty easy now. I gotta fire you, Daryl, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I've been working here for the past year. What do you mean you have to fire me? I've been like the best worker. Listen, the orders came from up top, okay? I gotta fire you or else the whole store shuts down. And I can't lose my job. The orders came from up top? What do you mean by that? I can't talk about confidential stuff with you, Daryl. And now you're an official past employee. So you don't have any rights here. This is outrageous. This isn't fair. Listen, kid, my hands are tied, all right? I like you. You're a great worker. You think you're funny, but you're not. But, you know, you're kind of nice to be around. But like I said, my hands are tied. I can't do nothing about it now. You got to get going. Okay, well, thanks for everything. Alexis? I warned you that not listening to me would get you into a very bad place. Are you saying that you're behind this? <laughs> oh, I bought the entire building. <laughs> So they have to listen to me. Ugh, Alexis, what is wrong with you? Do you think this is funny? Do you think this is some kind of game? This is my life we're talking about. <laughs> oh, it is funny. <laughs> you don't want to shut up and leave me alone. Stay out of my life. What do I do? I need to find a job like right now. Wait, I think Heather works here. Maybe she can get me a job. Hey, uh, Heather? 
Oh, uh, hey, Daryl, what's up? So listen, I know this is out of left field, but are you guys hiring here? Uh, I really need a job. Oh, yeah, actually we are. Are you looking to apply? Yeah, y you see, I, I totally just quit my last job. Uh, it just wasn't the right fit, you know, so I want to see if I can apply here. Oh, yeah, totally. I'll just put your name down and they'll probably call you back. Awesome. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You can always count on me. It was great seeing you, Heather. Yeah, you too. See ya. Hi. Hi, Heather. Do you remember me at the party like a year ago? Oh, yeah, you're uh, Daryl's younger sister, right? It is actually Miss First Daughter of the Mayor to you. Mm, yeah, so uh, what do you uh, what do you want? Look, if you give Daryl a job here, I will shut this whole place down. Don't even test me. What? Why would you do that? He's your brother. Don't you want him to succeed in life? <laughs> Just listen to me, all right? And no one gets hurt. You wouldn't want to lose your job over Daryl, would you? Uh, no, I really need this job to pay for college. Then you're going to listen to me and not hire him. Got it? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks. See you later, Heather. My fingers are crossed. Hopefully I get that job. I could really use it after what just happened. Now I don't even know what I'm gonna say to my landlord. I'm rent's due, and I don't even have enough. I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out to see what I can do. Hey, there he is, tenant 635. Where is my rent money? Where is it? Hey, the man that I was just about to see. Uh, yeah, uh, is there any way I could just have a little bit more time? What do I look like, a superhero that can change time? No! Rent is due today. If you don't have the rent, it's late. Listen, sir, I just lost my job, okay? I'm already in the process of trying to get a new one. I just need more time. Oh, well, now you're a jobless bum living in my apartment building, huh? Listen, loser, if you don't have the money to live here, then you don't live here, plain and simple. I need you to get out of my building. But this is my home. Not anymore. Now get out! That was it. That was all that I had left. And, and now it's gone too. I've seriously just lost everything. Oh, a notification. What's this? Alexis just bought my apartment? Are you kidding me? I need to go check this out now. Alexis? Alexis, what are you doing in my apartment? Actually, it's uh, my apartment, so I should be asking you that. Why are you in my apartment? So this was the plan, huh? I told you no at City Hall, and you got me fired, and now you just stole my apartment? You should really watch what you say. Bad things can happen when you don't give me what I want. You're the worst sister ever. No, you're the worst person ever. How can someone just do this to someone else? I'm going to get you back for this, Alexis. You're not just going to get away with taking everything from me. <laughs> We'll see about that, won't we? Uh, here it is. Here's Connor's house. Please, please tell me he's going to let me stay here. Here goes nothing. Hey, Connor. Hey, Daryl. What's up, dude? Everything all right? You sound a bit off. Actually, man, I'm pretty bummed out. Your sister stole my car. and It was the only way I could get to and from work. So I'm probably not going to have a job. Yeah, I remember when that happened. Uh, and look, I know it's probably not the best timing, but hey, I really need a place to stay. If I don't have a job, I can't really pay for this place. So it's like, I might be homeless too. Your sister's absolutely out of control, dude. Being around you means being around her. And that's like, bad. Is there any way that we can make this work? Well, I just need a car, dude. That's it. That's it. A light bulb just flicked on in my head. We're going to get your car back. Get my car back from your sister? How are we going to do that? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I know we can do it. I know my family more than anyone. I'll get your car back, dude. I promise. Oh, dude, I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shh. 
Connor, be quiet. Just follow my lead and we'll be okay. Nah, dude, we're gonna get caught. Your sister's gonna do something crazy. This isn't a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna get caught if you keep talking that loudly. Look, we can get away with it, okay? Just stay calm. Uh, hey, hold right there. City Hall is off limits at this time of night. And oh, Daryl, well, well, well. Wait, you, you know who I am? Oh yeah, all of us security guards know everything about you. You should not be here ever. You are banned from this location. What, I'm banned from who? Orders come from up top, okay? And I follow orders. What, but just, 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 uh, um, uh, d d Connor, get in the car. Dude, what? Just go. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here right now. No, 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 no! Oh no, it's out of gas! Dude, your sister couldn't even fill up the tank? Wow, so disrespectful. Yeah, it's not a big shocker, but now what are we gonna do? We gotta get gas somehow. <sighs> get back here! <sighs> Did you seriously run all the way over here? No, you stupid idiot! Use your eyes! I, I, I just ran from the car! It's a long run! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> what were you trying to do? Steal my car? No, I was trying to steal this car back. You're the one that stole it. Really? Then why is everything under my name now? Yeah, yeah, seriously, man. That's not cool. Look, Daryl, I've had enough with your behavior recently. You are out of here. You are not allowed to come back into this city ever again. And if you ever take another step in here, you will be thrown in jail. Do you understand me? You can't just kick me out of a town. I live here. Well, technically you don't as I own your apartment. And because I'm the daughter of the mayor, what I say goes, and you can't do anything about it. Fine, then I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, good. Bye, Daryl. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I've never been in the woods before. There's no sense of direction in this place. It's just trees everywhere. Can't believe I got kicked out of the city. What has my life come to? Excuse me, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi, sorry. Is this your, uh, home? Well, yes, indeed it is. And you're stepping in my living room. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't know that this was your living room. Uh, but I'm I'm here because I got kicked out of the city actually. Say what now? Kicked out of the city? Y yeah, yeah. My my sister, she's just the most spoiled person I know and and she kicked me out. I'm the only person that would stand up to her and she didn't like that. Spoiled sister, you say? Hmm? Well, I can relate. I also had a spoiled sister. She was completely out of control. Yeah, tell me about it. She's the daughter of my dad and he's mayor. I'm honestly just thinking I'm never going back. I'm gonna run in one direction and, and, and forget about all of this. You can't just run away from your problems, young man. You need to face them head on. I don't know, I just feel like I keep trying and it just never works out. I think it's better if I just leave. Well, that's the mistake I made. I didn't stick up for myself. And look what happened to me. I mean, now my house is literally a spot in the woods. My spoiled sister took everything from me. Don't let your sister do the same to you. Oh, oh, and don't forget, avocados are liars. Wait, what? A avocados? What does that have to do with anything? They're liars, I tell you. Liars! Okay, uh, I think this is where the conversation ends. Uh, thank you so much, creepy old homeless guy. I'm gonna go and, and, and fight for my city. boy, you go save your city and don't trust the avocados! Oh, there it is. There's the city. Uh, they set up an entire security checkpoint. They really want to keep me out. I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe I'll just try lying. It seems to work for Alexis, so I mean, maybe it'll work for me.
Uh, hi. Nope. Sorry, nope. Can't go any further without identification. Oh, well, I'm actually, uh, I'm late for my shift. I'm another security guard, and I'm trying to look for my outfit. Really? No, that's interesting. What's your name? Beryl. My, my name is Beryl. Beryl, huh? That's interesting. Well, I didn't see you at the security guard meet and greet the other night, so I think you're lying directly to my face. And I find that very disrespectful. Oh, yeah, that's because I had a stomach ache. Uh, I, I had, I ate some uh, bad avocados, uh, so I couldn't go. You are an absolute awful liar. I know who you are, Daryl. You stay right here. I have to make a phone call. Oh, God, I'm out of here. Wait, where'd you go? Hey, get back here. Oh, no. This is not good. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I'm very sorry, but um, we have a bit of a problem. I can't believe this. How did he go back into town and how did the guards not stop him? Uh, you know what? Let me just pull out my phone. There we go and go live. Hi, everyone. Hi, yes, no, it's me, Alexis, yes. <laughs> What I have to say is my brother, Daryl, I know, yucky, right? He's back in town. I have now put a reward out there. So if you find him, you get all of this money. Do you understand? Bring my brother to me in a one piece. He has to go through the justice system. Okay, thank you so much, sweet citizens. XOXO, mwah, bye. You know what? There's only one person that would help my yucky older brother. <laughs> oh, hi, Heather. Guess what? I have a surprise for you. Uh, hey, Alexis. What is it? <laughs> You're fired. What? You can't just come in here and say I'm fired. Uh, actually, yeah, I can. I'm the mayor's daughter. Remember? Whatever I say goes. And now, leave. I gotta keep my head down. I don't know where to go or who to go to. All I know is I can't be caught. And I have to stop Alexis. Not just for me, but for literally everyone that lives here. She's totally out of control, and I'm sure almost everyone here is miserable. Ah, Daryl, ha ha, it's you. Oh, I'm the luckiest man alive. Why is that? Are you gonna give me a job back? There's a bounty out on your head. Anybody that brings you to the mayor's office gets $10,000. I'm gonna be rich, ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna turn you in, you pathetic loser. You're not even supposed to be in this city. Hold on, hold on. Let's just take a second to talk about this real quick. Oh, okay, you wanna talk about how much money I'm gonna make and what I'm gonna spend it on? I'm gonna buy a bowl and maybe some big, huge sushi dinner. <laughs> and I'm also probably gonna buy the building back I lost. You cost me my job and you're gonna pay for this. Leave him alone. Ow! Get lost before I punch you again. Fine, <laughs> well, that really hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Heather, uh, thank you. Uh, don't worry about it, it's no problem. I know that you're not supposed to be in town right now, but I kind of came here to help you. Your sister is going crazy right now. She just fired me for my own job. No, that crosses the line. O okay, I've had it. We need to take her down. Oh, sweetheart, darling, how are you doing? Is everything okay? I was just wondering, can I have like just a little extra money to maybe buy another helicopter? Buy another helicopter? Alexis, what happened to your last one? Well, I might have crashed it by accident, but it's not my fault. There was a bird in the way. And honestly, that helicopter was ugly. I want a pink one this time. I'm sorry, Alexis, but uh, I can't really be spending all this much money on helicopters and sports cars and cute little animals and clothes and stuff. No, are you kidding me, Dad? Please, I want it. I want the helicopter. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to see you sad. I don't want to see you cry. Here, here's about a $300,000. Here, this is for you. Oh, Dad, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart. So, uh, what do you say? You and I go out to dinner in just a little bit? Oh, no, Dad, I have to go. I have to go spend this money. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye, Alexis. 
feel like this happens all the time now. She just takes money from me and leaves. She doesn't even spend time with me. Maybe she just doesn't even care. Okay, Daryl, so what's your plan? Uh, about that, I don't really fully have one yet. You don't have a plan? Not exactly, but I'm I'm planning on heading to the city hall and, and confronting my sister. Okay, and realistically, Daryl, where is that gonna get you? Confronting your sister, especially in the state that you're in right now, it's not a great idea. You need some sort of evidence or something that can prove that you aren't the bad one. Huh. I didn't think about that. Oh, Daryl! I thought I said that you weren't allowed in the city. Looks like someone's going to jail. Yeah, and it's gonna be you after everyone finds out how you've been treating this place. And it's people. Like, they'll listen to you. You have no proof whatsoever. <laughs> now, I would love to stay here and chat, but I have other things to do, so the guards will be on their way soon to escort you both to jail. See you later, losers. I can't believe her. She's such a brat. Yeah, she is. But you know what? She's kind of right. We can't do anything without proof. Yeah, I know. I guess we just got to find a way to get it. Okay, I've been here before. The security in here is top notch, okay? Just be quiet. Now, all we need to do is find a spot for the camera to be. Yeah, I'm glad that we were able to find this camera equipment. Me too. And all we need to do is just record her being, you know, herself, and everyone will see it. Um, hi, y'all. What be going on here while we trespass them at City Hall, y'all? Nothing. I came here to complain about, uh, the roads. She hates streets. Uh, uh, just, just the, the concrete. It's just, it's just, uh, it sucks. Hold on a second. I don't know many faces, names, places, or things. But one thing I do know is that you is Darums, right? You the mayor daughter's brothers, y'all. No, no, my name's not Daryl. It's, uh, it's Jonathan. Yeah, my name's Jonathan. Yeah, this is Jonathan. Uh, he's my husband. Ha, <laughs> ha, Okay, y'all, you cannot put a fast one on Asa from Rufus, y'all, okay? Now, tell me what be going on. Why is you trespass Okay, Okay, just, just look. Just, just hear me out. My sister is totally spoiled. She's a total brat, and she has the city wrapped around her finger. Okay, yes, that's a fact, y'all. Wait, what? You believe us? Oh, yes. The daughter of the mayors is absolutely wild, y'all. Okay? I was having a burritos the other day at lunch, and she came up and just took it from me. She took my burritos, y'all! Oh, no. That's horrible. Uh, but an anyway, but listen, we're just trying to stop her, okay? So let me help, y'all. I'm good at stopping criminals and things like that and saving the day. Wow. Thank you so much. You're probably the only nice person we've met. Um, actually, I bet that's a fact. Okay. Now, let's go stop your sisters, y'all. Yes. Okay, now where is the mayor's daughters? Oh, there she is right there, y'all. Ugh, all people are gross. Oh, miss, why are you being so harmful to me? <laughs> Ugh, just get out of my face. You disgust me. Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mayor's daughter, lady. Hi, um, I'm Asa from Rufus, and what you just did right there was not nice, y'all. What do you mean, and why do you care? Because I'm here to protect the streets and make sure the citizens is happy in farms, and that old lady was not happy or farms, y'all. It doesn't even matter. I'm the mayor's daughter. I can do whatever I want. Oh, that's right. Yes, I has a plans. Um, yes, Mrs. Mayor daughters. I has a message from you from the mayor's, y'all. From the mayor? What did he want? Um, well, um, what was it, Gams? Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. He says that he has a big fancy prisms for you at the Sinem's Hall, and you need to go down there and get the prisms, y'all. What? Oh, that's great. Okay. Give me your ATV so I can go there quickly. But that's my ATVs. That's my best friends. Give me the ATV. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Farms. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I want my H-A-B mix! Dad, where's my present? Dad! Dad isn't here. Daryl, what are you doing here? I came to put an end to this. <laughs> oh, really now? Well, 
looks like you're the dumb one because you're in City Hall. Meaning, huh, I got you. Yeah, you've got nothing, Alexis. You're the one that set all this up, huh? You kicked me out of the city and then just put a reward on my head for no reason, right? It's because I don't want you here and I want everything and you're always in the way and I hate you. Yeah, and there's nothing that I can do, right? Because everyone's gonna believe you, the sweet mayor's daughter. Yeah, because without you around, everyone will believe me and I'll get everything I want and I can get away with it. I have dad wrapped around my finger and now I have the whole city. <laughs> ah, I'm always gonna be seen as a sweet little daughter and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> nothing I can do, huh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because what you told me, you just told across the entire city. Uh, we recorded everything on this camera, and, well, it's live to everyone watching, so... Take that, Alexis! Boom! I finally got you! Uh, 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 yeah, that's such a funny prank! Um, uh, I hate you! Dad! Dad! Daryl, what do you think you're doing here? Okay, look, I know you're mad still, but I have something to show you. Just stop for one second and look. Here, just take my phone. I, I, I can't believe my ears. She's been lying this whole time. She lied about the house and everything that's been going on in City Hall. She's been lying to me. I've been trying to tell you since the start. She's been behind everything. I'm, I'm sorry, Daryl. I, I should have listened to you. I'm not going to let Alexis get away with this. I promise you. Finally, what she deserves. Listen. After everything that's been going on, I feel awful, and I, I'd like to make it up to you. I want you to move into City Hall with me. I want us to be a family again. Really? Ugh, I'd, I'd really like that, Dad. I would too, son. I've missed you a lot. But now we need to deal with your sister. Alexis, get in here now! Uh, hi, Dad. Don't hide Dad me, little Miss Thing! I know everything that you've been doing. I can't believe you would lie to me. I I'm sorry? Well, you're gonna be sorry. You're grounded for a whole year. Stop, why are you doing this to me? I'm your little brother. It's because we hate your stupid face. Take that, you loser. <laughs> Looks like we messed up your hair. <laughs> you know I have a job fair to be today? Why would you do this out of all days? No one's gonna hire you. You're a loser. Guys, I'm literally never this mean to you. I'm not giving you a single reason to treat me this way. Yeah, whatever, Nathan. Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> all they try to do is ruin every opportunity I have. I'm not gonna let that happen. <laughs> no way. Get lost. Lost loser. What do you mean? You haven't even heard what I have to say yet. Yeah, but look at you. You can't even dress up for a job fair. You're pathetic. Give me a chance. Every other booth has already rejected me. I promise you won't regret it, okay? Excuse me, sir. We have some very important news. We are professional references. It's true. And you cannot hire this Nathan kid. Oh, he is terrible. The worst. Guys, what are you doing? So you two know this loser? Yes, and it's in our professional opinion for you to never hire him. My associate it is right. Well, I really appreciate your honesty. See, this is what business is all about. No, no, that's not true. These are my sisters. They're just trying to sabotage me. And you didn't even give me a chance yet. If you want a chance, there's a loser outside hiring in the dumpster. <laughs> Get out of here, trash. I, you know what? Whatever. I don't want to work for someone like you anyway. <laughs> loser. Hi, um, my name's Nathan. Oh, hi, nice to meet you, Nathan. Name's Tommy. How can I help you? I was told inside that you're offering some job positions. Yeah, I actually run the local trash pickup. Uh, awesome. Do you think I can apply for a job? You really want to work here? I mean, it's dirty work, but it does pay pretty good. Listen, man, I'm willing to put in the work whatever I need to do, okay? Well, it's been long hours, hard work, and tough days. So I'm hired? Yeah, you've got the job. My sisters are the worst. All they want to do is just make my life horrible, but I'm not going to let that happen. Yeah, hi. Can I get a cheeseburger, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He looks extra stupid. Guys, seriously, just leave me alone. Why do you just keep following me? Don't you have anything better to do? Well, no, because now that we know that you're the trash man, we're going to make fun of you even more. What do you have to gain from all this? I'm really curious to ask that. You ruined our life, Nathan. Yeah, before you were born, we were the center of attention. How is that my fault? I didn't just ask to be the center of attention. All I'm just trying to do is 
is live my life. So, what's your point? The point is that you guys should just leave me alone and worry about your own lives. I just want to be your guys' brother. Well, we don't want you. It's true. All right, fine. I'm going to let myself out then. You guys are just jerks. Oh my gosh. Did he seriously just call us jerks? He is so annoying. We are going to get revenge on him. Well, about time you came home, Nathan. Where have you been? Sorry, Dad. I was applying for a job. I actually have to work really early in the morning tomorrow. Wow. Um, actually, surprise. Proud of you, Nathan. Glad you're finally being a responsible member of society. I just want a job so I can be responsible and learn what it takes to work hard. I also want that really sweet new Shane Plays merch. You and your YouTubers. Uh, now, listen, I have to go into the office tonight. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to have your sisters watch over you tonight. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> We're in charge for the night. No, you seriously cannot do this. Out of all people, they're the last people that should be in charge of anyone. I want you to behave and listen to your sisters. All right. Bye, girls. Have a good night. Dad. Dad, no, please don't leave me. Oh, gosh. Guys, I don't want any trouble, all right? We can get along. All I want to do is just go to sleep. So you guys don't even have to worry about watching me. Sure. You can go to bed. After you finish all of the chores on the list. And look at it. It's a mile long. Wait, what? You guys were assigned these chores this week. Nathan, we're in charge. Yeah, and if you ever want to see your Shane Plays merch, you need to do exactly what we say. Fine, fine. Go do your stupid chores. Oh, Nathan, hey, how's it going? Proud of you for actually showing up. Of course, I'm surprised. I mean, I only got like an hour of sleep last night. Yeah, I've been there, but you showed up. That's what counts. All right, now here are the rules of driving the garbage truck, okay? You can't drive too fast, and you gotta watch for old ladies crossing the street and stuff. Got it? Yeah, um, you gotta go fast enough to... What? Sorry. Yo, are you paying attention to anything I'm telling you right now? This is important information. No, sorry, sorry, you're right. Yeah, I'm paying attention, I promise. Alright, good, because if you're driving this garbage truck, you better be alert, okay? You could hurt yourself or somebody else. But if you're here now, it's time to get to work. You got one more chance. Alright, good. Let's do it. I have a brilliant idea. Before I start working, hopefully this coffee will wake me up. Yeah, 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 that's gonna be uh, 250 sir. Alright, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, just make sure you don't spill it. No, of course I will. Ah, hey. Wait, ow. Oh my gosh. Did everyone see that? I'm burnt. It's an iced coffee, Jane. What are you even talking about? No, 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 no. Ow, it's like lava. Oh my gosh. How could you do this? I told you to do one thing and the one thing I said is to not spill the coffee. And what did you do? You spilled the coffee. You better apologize, man. No, this is my sister. You don't understand. Apologize. I'm sorry, Jane. Thank you, barista. This is the worst worst day of my life. Oh my, I'm so sorry for that. Listen, you get free coffee here for like a month. I do? Thank you. I'm so traumatized. Yeah, and after this poor loser here cleans up his mess, he's not gonna be welcomed here for life. Now here, pick up that mop and start mopping, man. All right, fine. It's my mess, so I'll pick it up, but I don't even want to be back here anyway. Hope you enjoy your free coffee, Jane. Hey, Nathan, this is only the beginning. <laughs> It seriously took me an hour to mop all that up, especially after Jane spilled her second coffee on purpose. I'm so exhausted. I have to start work now. I have to pick up all the trash around this beach. <laughs> Surf's up, loser. Take that. Ah, ah. All right, that's enough. You guys need to knock it off. <laughs> no, we don't. That was hilarious. Can you guys just leave me alone for five seconds? Don't you guys have a life outside of this? No. Guys, I swear, if you don't leave me alone. What? What are you gonna do? Yeah, cry about it to dad. If you guys want to treat me so badly and not be my actual family, then I'm over it. Hey, Jill, this is gonna be so funny. I can't wait. <laughs> ah! Ow! Oh, my, my ankle! <laughs> awesome. What on earth is all of this commotion? It is two in the morning. Can you just see the two people that ran out of my room with a megaphone? What, your sisters with a megaphone? What are you talking about? Yeah, they just woke me up and I landed on my ankle and I think it's twisted. Ugh, fine, I'll have a talk with them tomorrow. You need like a, I don't know, ice pack or something? Yeah, if you can, that'd be awesome. I think we have one in the fridge, but it's late and I have work early tomorrow. I can't have this in my house, Nathan. I know that, Dad, but you should be talking to them. I'm just trying to live my life. All right, all right, fine, okay? Just calm down. I just hope I'll be okay for work tomorrow. Yelling at your brother with a megaphone at two in the morning is unacceptable, ladies. But dad, yeah, dad, come on. You can't be that upset. I am upset. It woke me up too. If you two pull any more of these silly little pranks on your brother, you're gonna be grounded and that's final. <sighs> 
fine. Yeah, whatever, Dad. We'll stop. Listen, girls, your family needs to start acting like it. Now watch out for your little brother. I'm going to work. Have a good day. This is so stupid. So annoying. Nathan's such a crybaby. He's a snitch. You know what we should do? Let's ruin his day at work. Perfect. <laughs> Hey, boss man. Hey, Nathan, how's up? Whoa, hey, hey, what's going on here? What is this? Listen, it, it's fine, all right? I can still work. Dude, you're hobbling around on crutches. How are you supposed to work like this? It doesn't matter. Look, I can work through this. I'm good to go. Everything will be fine. You seriously still trying to put in 150% and you look like this? Man, you're one tough guy. Yeah, you kind of have to be with the family I have. Yeah, but you got a good heart, kid. Now, come on, we got work to do, all right? So you feel a little better, huh? Yeah, I feel great. We're Working here is actually pretty fun. Really? You sure about that? I mean, it's hot. All this trash is heavy. Yeah, but I don't know. None of that matters. It just makes me feel really productive, and it's also just nice to be away from everything. Yeah, you said your family life is kind of tough. Uh, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, what can you do, right? Life's just going to keep throwing stuff at you, but you just got to keep pushing through it. Yeah, pretty good point. Now, we're pretty much done for the day, but I need you to hit up this last house by yourself and then report back to me. Got it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. It's just one house. <laughs> you say that now. No, but uh, this house is pretty infamous. Good luck, kid. All right, I got this. Oh my gosh, this is a mansion. Oh wow, about time you finally showed up. Yeah, hi, nice to meet you. I'm just gonna help clean up your mansion. Yeah, shut up. Literally no one cares, okay? Especially not me. Now there better not be a single speck of dirt anywhere in this house you got it yeah yeah of course of course sir wait i know you are you finkleberry i've seen you on the news like everywhere oh my gosh another fan yeah okay i'm rich successful and famous okay now get to work Jeez. all right i don't know why you woke up on the wrong side of the bed today all right just this piece of trash and i'm done this is gonna be awesome i know we're totally gonna frame nathan we'll come back later tonight and throw trash everywhere that finkleberry dude is gonna lose his marbles oh yeah and he's definitely gonna get fired. What do you take me for a fool? No, no, sir, not at all. Well, it sounds like you do. I'm a very important man, okay? I don't have time for this. Wait, what's going on? He threw trash all over my yard, okay? I'm gonna arrest him. Nathan, what did you do to this man? Did you dump the whole dump truck in his front yard? What? No, I left it. It was completely spotless. Listen, this is all a misunderstanding. I did my job perfectly fine. I told you you had one last chance, and that's it, Nathan. You don't even deserve this job. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hey, loser, how did your day go? Really, I'm pretty sure you know exactly how it just went. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, Nathan. I hope you know because of all of this, I lost my job. Everything I've been trying to work towards, you guys just ruined. Okay, your point. Yeah, and? I never want to see either of you again. I want you guys just to be out of my lives. And we don't care. Yeah, we hate you. Don't you get that? Well, don't worry, because I'm going to be out of your life soon. I'm running away. You'll never have to worry about seeing me ever again. Uh-oh. Did we take that a little too far? We just wanted to, like, tease him. Oh, man. This isn't good. Jill, Jane, I'm home. Hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. Welcome home. Thanks, girls. Where's Nathan? Oh, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Somewhere. Who cares? <laughs> um, I care. Also, you two were supposed to be watching him, remember? Yeah, about that. Yo, where is he? I don't know. You two seriously don't know where your little brother is? I I'm sure he'll be home soon. Maybe he's at work or something? Oh, maybe you're right. I'm gonna go start making dinner, okay? Keep an eye out for your brother. I hope Nathan's okay. Should we go look for him? Um, I don't know. Excuse me, is there any way I can have a job, please? Well, I guess I could hire you as the janitor. Job pays five Robux an hour. What, great, so I'll make like $200 a month? No, it's fine. Uh, thank you, though. I appreciate it. Thank you for wasting my time. Have a good day. Whatever. Great, you found me. What are you gonna do now? Push me in that dumpster over there? Pull another prank? What? What are you talking about? Listen, guys, all you guys have been doing is been pulling pranks and ruining my life. Ugh, oh my gosh, this again? Wait, Jane, no, stop. Hey, you guys probably don't know what it feels like because you guys don't work for anything. I'm so sick of this. We for sure went too far. Look at him. He's so upset. It's not a big deal. I mean, we got really upset over everything when we were his age, remember? But still, he's our brother. I don't know. Maybe you're right. We should make it up to him. You know what? I agree. <laughs> 
Nathan, are you crying? Dad, everything's just such a mess. I just can't handle it. Nathan, everything's gonna be fine, okay? Actually, um, I have a surprise for you. Yeah, what is it? Your boss called. He said he overreacted and he wanted to rehire you. Wait, what? Why? Why would he just change his mind like that? Well, because we actually called him. Yeah, and we told him the truth. It was our fault. You, you guys actually d did that for me? Yeah, and we're gonna go clean up the mess. So you don't have to worry about it and you can get your job back. Why would he do that? Well, because we're family, stupid. We care about you. At least a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That really does mean a lot. Ah! I hate you. You're the worst brother ever. There's something wrong with you. You're crazy. Hey, cut it out, Vanessa. I wasn't even doing anything. Why would you throw me out of a window? Because that's what you get. Now pick up this mess before mom and dad get home. Are you kidding me? Ugh! You have got to be kidding me. The window's completely destroyed. Evan, Vanessa, get over here right now. What happened here? This was all Evan. I told him to clean it up. I shouldn't have to. You're the one that threw me out of the window. Well, somebody has to clean this up. There's broken glass everywhere now. Well, I can't do it. I have something to do tonight. I'm busy. I don't care who does it. It just has to get done. Evan, that means it's up to you. This is absolutely ridiculous. I have to go to work. And I just got back from work. Just get started and pick it up. Even though Evan was angry, he picked up the mess. But that made him late for work and his boss was not happy. He got put on probation and was in serious trouble. And to make matters worse, his sister showed up. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe your brother works here. This place is a dump. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? So you lied to dad. Hanging out with Stacy was your super important thing to do tonight? You're only just jealous because you have no friends. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, you're so funny. <laughs> you know what, I don't really care, Vanessa. If you're not gonna order anything, just leave. Wait, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. You're gonna let him talk to you like that in public? You know what? You're right. I shouldn't let him talk to me that way. <laughs> Just you wait. And this is what he gets for being rude. <laughs> That'll show him. Officer, officer, where's my son? Is he okay? Oh, he must be Evan's father. Yes, I got your call. What happened? Well, you might want to sit down. There's a lot going on here. So your sister got you fired from your job? Yeah, I saw her. There's security footage and everything, so we had to call the police. You called the police on your sister? Your family? But dad, she stole from my job and she got me fired. And now your sister's in trouble with the law too, because of you. All right, this looks like a big family matter. I'm gonna let you two handle this. Thank you, officer. Dad, she did a crime, and that's not right. Ness is just completely out of control. I don't know why she hates me so much. Your sister does not hate you. Yes, she does. I think she did it on purpose to get me in trouble. All right, listen, let's go home, and we'll talk to Vanessa. Are you kidding me, Evan? Now I'm grounded? This is all your fault. Maybe you should have thought of that before you stole from my restaurant. I hate you so much. You're unbearable. You're my older sister. I don't know why you hate me so much. What did I ever do to you? What's this? Oh, I have a job interview to go to, since you're the one that got me fired from my last job. Huh, <laughs> good luck. Not like anyone's gonna hire you. You're a loser. This made Vanessa start to think. She wasn't always mean to her brother. Before, she was bullied by a bunch of other people. Her brother tried to stick up for her, but they started to be mean to him too. She saw her chance and made fun of him. They ended up becoming friends, and Vanessa changed. She started acting more like them, and they picked on Evan relentlessly. But that wouldn't stop Evan. He went and got his job, worked hard, and started making money. Then soon enough, he actually got his own place to live. It was small, but it was a good start. So dad, what do you think? For my first place, not too bad, huh? You kept your head up high and worked really hard. You earned this. I just put my mind to it, and I worked hard on myself. I think I can fit like a 60-inch TV in here, right? Probably, I'd think so. You call this a home? Ew. Yeah, this is gonna be my home. You don't have to live here. Good thing, it's disgusting. All right, Vanessa, enough. It's not that bad. Dad, clearly you're not seeing what I'm seeing. This place is awful. Kind of like your attitude. All right, enough. I have had it between the two of you. You need to start acting like brother and sister. She doesn't even want to be around me. How are we supposed to do that? Just spend time together and try to be close for once. Ugh, whatever. 
I'm busy today, so we can hang out tomorrow, I guess. All right, that's more like it. Evan? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, like, I gotta go. Stace, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I cannot believe you made me come to this side of the town. Ew. If you think that's bad, you should see my brother's apartment. It's disgusting. Yeah, this place is trashy. Come on, let's get out of here before someone sees us. Ugh. All right, so what do you want to do? We could play some games, I guess. These look kind of fun. Games are for losers. I don't want to do that. Well, then what do you want to do? To be honest, not hang out with you. Listen, I don't want to hang out with you either, okay? I'm just doing this to make dad happy. Hey, Vanessa. Oh, Stacy, Adrian, so glad to see you guys. Yeah, what are we doing at the pier? This place is lame. Adrian was Stacy's new boyfriend. He was one of the biggest bullies in the whole town. He thought he was super cool because his family was rich. So it's safe to say with his bad attitude, Adrian did not have the best reputation. Um, what is your brother doing here? Ew. Trust me, I wish he wasn't. My stupid dad is making me hang out with him. You know what? On second thought, we're gonna leave. Later, loser. All right, here's the place. See, Adrian, I told you it was ugly. Yeah, this place is worthless. Let's just trash it. I don't even know why you hang out with these people. They don't care about you, and they're not your friends. Yeah, let's ruin this place. Uh, that was like the worst shift ever. Wait, what is going on? What happened? Someone break in my apartment? No! Adrian, I know it was you. What are you talking about, nerd? Get out of my face. I know it was you that trashed my apartment. Oh, you mean that like weird homeless place? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> you're such a loser. What did you just say to me? I said that you're a loser. And what are you gonna do now, punk? Oh, I want you to leave me alone. I'm not standing for this anymore. You and all your jerk friends need to stay away from me. Yo, Adrian, what's going on here, dude? This punk just thought he could get smart with me. I think we should teach him a lesson. Oh, man, I'm in trouble now. Yeah, get back here, idiot! You can't escape us! Oh, man, I gotta go. After him! I gotta lose these guys! Am I? You're in the hospital. Where else does it look like you are? Ugh, and you're here? Just leave me alone, Vanessa. I actually came to see if you're okay. I mean, I don't feel the best, but I think I'll be fine. But honestly, Vanessa, I really don't want to talk to you or see you. Especially after what you and your friends did to my apartment. You guys completely trashed my home. Something I worked super hard for. Oh, well, hey, Evan, you can't do that. Just take it easy, okay? Listen, I'm fine. Well, that is what I was gonna come in and tell you. You are fine, and you're actually good to go home. You just need to take it slow. Thanks, Doc, I appreciate it. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I heard what Evan said. It sounds like you've got a bad group of friends. What? Who are you to tell me if I have a good group of friends or not? I just wanted to throw out my opinion. Hate seeing brothers and sisters fight. Look, guys, I've been thinking. I can't hang out with you anymore. What? Are you serious? Adrian, are you hearing this right now? Yeah, I thought I heard that, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm just confused. What? Well, you literally risked my brother's life, and I don't think I can be around people like that. At first, I thought it was fun making fun of him, but now it's gone too far. You know, Vanessa, you're like really making a huge mistake right now. Yeah, we're the most popular people in town. If we start telling people how much of a loser you are, your reputation is done for. Then fine, ruin my reputation. But you leave my brother alone. Your brother's a loser and he deserves everything that gets handed to him. Like my fist across his face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny, Adrian. <laughs> you guys are literally the worst. I'm out. So like, she seriously thinks she's gonna stop our friendship like this? <laughs> yeah, right. I will not let her get away with this. Nobody tells me no. So what are you gonna do? I have the perfect plan. So you really did it. You told Stacy off? Yeah, 
She's a bad influence. Don't know what I was thinking. I told you she wasn't really your friend, but I gotta say, thanks for sticking up for me. Yeah, I, I mean, of course. What they did was wrong. Wait, did you hear that? Something's going on inside. What do you two think you're doing? Hey, babe, look, it's the loser squad. <laughs> you two are awful. I've had enough. You can't just break into our family house and do this. Just get out of here. Don't you have something better else to do? No. We want to show you how much of a loser you and your brother truly are. You're calling us losers? Look at the two of you. You're not all that special. Um, yeah, we are. I don't even know why we ever thought we should hang out with you, Vanessa. But you and your family are a bunch of losers. And we're going to make sure you're living in a place like one. Yeah, and you're going to regret doing that because I'm calling the cops. And we know exactly who you are, and they're going to be looking for you. Uh, Sis, I think we should get out of here. Yeah, right behind you. Hey, Evan, you stood up for me. Thanks. Well, that's what we do. We're family. What happened to my house? Wait, Noelle! Noelle, where are you? <laughs> oh, what happened to you? Noelle, no! Noelle, wake up, please. Oh no, everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. What is wrong with Noelle? Man, that was crazy. Doctor, doctor, how's Noelle? Is she okay? She's not your sister anymore. She's a demon. A demon? No, no, that's impossible. We should call the demon hunters. No, we can't do that. I'm not gonna let demon hunters anywhere near my sister. I know she's still in there, doctor. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I have no answers. And Frankly, I'm terrified of demons. They're monsters, and they do nothing but attack innocent people. That's not true. Well, my sister's not a monster. Noelle, over here. Ah, she's a demon. Demon, I am no demon. Ugh. Noelle, stop. Ugh, hey, that's it. Get out of my hospital. Doctor, please, my sister needs your help. I said get going. All right, we finally made it. I don't think anyone saw us come up here. The sunlight, it hurts. Maybe that's a side effect of what's going on. You need to stay hidden. <sighs> Noelle, you need to stay here, okay? This is our old family lake house. No one's been up here for years. You'll be safe. Safe? There is no more safe. All right, Noelle, don't get mad, okay? Just keep yourself calm. It's just somewhere to hide for now. Until we figure out what to do with, um... To do with what? Me? Trust me, I know what happened to me. You know what happened? Of course. I remember everything. I was home alone when a demon broke into the house. She turned me into a demon. And now my life is ruined because of it. I am a demon. This isn't a curse, okay? Just a bad side effect. This is no side effect. I am just so angry. I can't calm down. Don't worry. I'm going to protect you. And I'll make sure you stay safe. No matter what. You should have seen it. That demon. She was going crazy. She knocked me to the ground. It was horrible. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is serious. She was going to destroy the whole building. Well, it certainly sounds like there's a demon in town. I'll find her. No problem. You better. I'm also going to go to the police, too. No, absolutely not. Don't mention this to anyone. Well, why not? News of a demon in this town will cause chaos. It will make my job even harder. Demons are pests, and they need to be extinguished. I agree. And you're the man for the job, so make sure you take care of this. Oh, I'll rid your town of that terrible demon. In one way or another, no, you don't mind. It's time to hunt. Ugh, the light hurts. <laughs> but there's another demon in town. Once I absorb her aura, I'll become the strongest demon in the world. <laughs> Look at this place. There's nothing left now. Mom and Dad left this to me and Noelle, and now it's gone. Maybe I can find something here that'll point me in the right direction. Some kind of clue or something? I don't know. What am I doing? Tyler? George! Dude! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You scared me. Sorry, man. I just came to see if you were okay. By the looks of it, your house is definitely not. Yeah, no, that's a, a real long story. Well, what was it? I, I mean, I heard some rumors there was a demon attack, but I didn't know if that was true or not. Yeah, it's true. It was Noelle. I'm so sorry, but I think I know someone that can help. You do? Dr. Weston, nice to meet you, Tyler. George's uncle, how can I help you? George said that you study some strange and dangerous monsters. Yes, all that stuff I find extremely fascinating. Oh, I was wondering, is there any way you can turn a demon back into a human? Demon, you say, huh? Well, funny enough, yes. I've actually been working on that project for months. So there is a way. Well, at least I think there is. I haven't been able to find my last ingredient. It's 
It's a flower that's extremely rare. It only grows in the mountains to the north. Well, I'll go looking for them. Give me any information you have on them and I will find it. Of course, absolutely. If you're willing to do the work, I'll help you out. Well, that's a full day's hike. I'll go with you. It's a good idea to stick together. Those mountains are extremely dangerous. The rumor is there are demons all over the place. So you need to be careful and watch out for each other. I've got your back, George. Don't worry. George, we've got to find this flower. I know, but my legs are tired. Wait, stop. Oh, about time. Shh, shut up. Oh, that was a close one. Your uncle was right. These woods are filled with demons. Let's get going. What's the rush, man? We'll find the flower. Don't worry. What's the rush? George, my sister is a demon. I've got to turn her back and fast. You'd be in a rush too if your sister was a demon. Well, I don't have a sister. I don't really have a family at all. You're right. I, I forgot. I I'm so sorry. But you have your uncle. Yeah, but he doesn't have any time for me. I'm always just alone. George, that's not true. You're my best friend. So you're never alone. You have me. So I guess you do have family after all. Thanks, man. I guess you're right. Oh, come on. We've got to find this flower. Do you see it anywhere? No, nowhere. Wait, what's that down by the river? Is that it? Oh, I think we did it, George. Come on. We've got to get back to your uncle. Well, boys, it looks like we did it. With the final ingredient, looks like the cure is here. That's incredible. I put it in a gas form, so it'll affect the demons a whole lot faster. Do you think it'll actually work? Well, we have to test it first. It caught this rude demon a couple months ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, buddy. Whatever. Calm down. All right. Let's see if this guy works. Ugh, this stuff stinks. Oh, my gosh. It actually worked. Hey, can, can you let me out of here? Why am I even in this thing? Yeah, here you go. I can't believe you turned me back into a human. I like being a demon. You stink. Can't believe that guy was upset we actually cured him. What matters now is that we can actually save Noelle. We can turn her back into a human. You have more of that cure, right? Of course, I can synthesize more, no problem. Oh, that stupid scientist. I can't believe he turned me back into a human. Wait, what was that? You used to be a demon? Ah! What happened to you? Tell me right now. Someone found a cure and turned me back, and I hate it. A cure? No. No, impossible. Who is this person? Where are they? I must find this cure and destroy it. I don't know where they are, but I did overhear those idiots talking about a house on the lake. Apparently, that's where his demon sister is hiding. Oh, I know these two. <laughs> Perfect. There's only one lake in this area to the west. I think I should go pay them a visit. <laughs> stuck in here. I can feel myself getting stronger, more angry. I don't want this demon life. I want my normal life back. Hold on. What is that? Well, well, well. I've been looking for you for a long time now. Who are you? I'm just a simple man trying to become the strongest demon in the world. You're a demon too, huh? I've been a demon for a very, very long time. You are a new baby demon, aren't you? I am, and I don't know what to do. It's power. I don't know how to handle it. Well, if you want, I can help you. Stand beside me. Together, we'll take over the world. We'll live the way we want and turn everyone into a demon. No, I can't do this to anyone else. Are you refusing me? Of course I am. I will not join you. <laughs> well, your brother's looking for you. What? Where is he? You know about him? Oh, of course I do. Maybe I should turn him into a demon. Instead, then maybe he'll join me. Never. Stay away from him. Ooh, you're getting angry. You think you can stop me? Ah! Ah! Oh, I'll find you. Don't worry, Noel. I'll find you. Wait, no. No, not again. What if your sister is trapped in here? What if she's hurt? Well, this happened last time, too. She was fine. I don't think fire affects her or anything like that. You're right. Tyler, everything's gonna be all right. I'm not supposed to let anything happen to her, George. Hey, calm down. Calm down. We gotta track her or something. Yeah, maybe you're right. I I'm just can't even think straight. Look, down there, there's footprints. Oh, those have to be hers, right? Or maybe they belong to the person who did this. Either way, we're gonna follow these footprints. Come on. <laughs> That's right, boys. Lead me right to her. Noelle! Noelle, there she is! Tyler? George? Noelle, everything's gonna be okay. What do you mean everything's going to be okay? Noelle, you need to calm down, okay? Stop telling me that. You don't understand. I am a demon. A monster. This is who I am now. I, I know, I know. Just calm down, okay? I have a surprise for you. A little surprise, huh? 
What is it? It's a cure. We can turn you back to a human and give you your old life back, just like you wanted. Are you serious? Does it work? Yes, it does. It cured another demon. This is gonna save you, Noel. I promise. What you're gonna do is drop that cure right now. I don't know who you are, but you're not gonna stop me. Tyler, stay back. This man is a demon hunter. <laughs> no, leave him alone. There's no escape for you now. Oh, man, my head. Where am I? Hey, give me that back. <laughs> this simple little canister has an antidote that can cure any demon. Yeah, and that belongs to me. Oops, doesn't look like it's gonna be working anymore. No, you monster! Yes, that's exactly what I am, a monster. That was Noelle's only chance. I'm not gonna let you turn your sister back into a human. I need to keep her as a demon. Why? Why are you after her? Because her power is incredible. And I'm going to take it and give it to myself. And with it, I'm going to rule the world. Oh, I'm going to stop you one way or another. That's my sister. I'm going to protect her all the way until the end. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be too late for that. Hey, wait, get back here, no! I gotta get to find a way to get out of here. I pull my arms tight. Oh, no, it's no use. Tyler, are you in here? George, George, over here! Oh my gosh, Tyler, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I can't believe you found me. Can you uh, let me loose here, buddy? Yeah, here, let me take care of this. Thanks. What happened? Where's Noelle? That demon has her somewhere. I've gotta go find her. George, you need to go and call the police. I think we're gonna need backup with this guy. I'm on it. But I don't know how I'm gonna cure Noel now. He broke the canister. Now I'm in trouble. Well, then I guess you need this, huh? How did you get this? I asked my uncle to make some extra. I had a feeling it could be a little clumsy, you know? Oh, George, you're the best. You just saved the day. I'm definitely gonna need this. Well, what are you waiting for? Take my powers if you want them so badly. I have to wait until daylight. It should be any moment now. Sunlight, no. The daylight will make you weak and I'll be able to take your power and become the most powerful demon this world has ever seen. That's it. Get angry, Noel. There's nothing you can do. I wouldn't make her angry if I were you. You broke free? Yeah. I told you I was going to stop you. Oh. <laughs> You're pathetic. You don't compare to me at all. That's one thing you don't understand. I'm not going to give up, especially when it comes to protecting my family. Oh, you want to fight, don't you? I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, you are a little tough one, aren't you? Don't underestimate me. Tyler, you knocked him out. Now get me out of here. Here, you need to take the cure, okay? You've got to break the canister and breathe in the gas. Okay, here it goes. <coughs> oh, Tyler. Tyler, you did it. You saved me. <laughs>